This thing's not glued down. Thanks, Lorraine. Pat, everyone. Thank you to all the guests here tonight, friends, family, supporters. How did I get here? <laughs> what got this started? I don't know. My awareness for racing speed started quite young. I was about six and my uncle Franklin Smith took me to the Grand Prix of Canada at Mossport with a crew of other little kids. Saw Sterling Moss there. I think it was Sterling Moss. Maybe it was Jimmy Clark. But it uh, started a bug. I had a no, whole new awareness for racing speed. From then on, there was no more Archie and Veronica comics. <laughs> I looked for Speed Racer on the stands. I found a new graphic novel that, uh, that year. I started an American flat track racer who schooled the European road racers over there with his foot down as he hot shoot his way around some historic paved circuit. As you might expect, for me, the best thing tonight is simply a chance to say thank you. Thank you to a lot of people who helped me along the way. This is going to be tough because there's a lot of people who helped and influenced me. But it's not impossible. If I forget you, it's just because I can't remember. A couple of too many concussions, maybe. Um, I'll be as quick as I can. You know I can drone on, some of you know that. I want to start with a huge thank you simply to Byron Eady for founding the uh, Canadian Motorcycle Heritage Museum and their many other motorcycle related ventures. Uh, what they've contributed to the sport is beyond words, so thank you, Byron Eady. Of course, also thanks must go to the MCC and its board of directors, its members, its volunteers, and tonight's corporate sponsors, BMW, Harley-Davidson, uh, Riders Plus Insurance. I pay you an annual premium, guys. <laughs> Hopefully I don't crash and need to use it. Uh, I was 15 years old when, uh, as they said, Michael Fair, my stepbrother, took me to the first motocross race. And I was just awed. We drove in and I couldn't believe how fast these guys were going. There was dust flying and then he told me it was only practice. <laughs> that obviously built a desire to try that high flying action, dusty as it was. And I just wanted to race anywhere, anytime, it didn't really matter. Um, easy, I thought. I had a street bike so I entered that production race at Mossport. I was going around turn two as fast as you could possibly go. I was bent, banked over. There Yvonne went by, weaving, bucking, wobbling on the outside of turn two. If anybody knows the track, they know that's a scary corner. He was gone. Couldn't see him after two more corners. Don. Couldn't believe it. How relative is speed, he's saying. It's most addictive as well. I'd like to also stop now and uh, say hello and a thank you to uh, all the Hall of Fame members that came before me. Uh, for me, this is, uh, wasn't ever imagined in my, in my memory, in my mind. It's an honor simply to join this group of enthusiasts, my heroes, supporters and builders of the sport. And also say congratulations to my fellow inductees, Johnny, everybody. Thanks to the CMA, the staff, your volunteers, track officials, of that time many years ago. In particular, I want to thank all the referees that uh, tried to keep us safe, tried to have a fair and equal racing environment. In particular, there's a list of them, but it's uh, Bob Kelly, Jim Kelly, Don Ego, wherever you are, Don Davidson, Bill Jamison, you are all very important to me, keeping me alive, literally. <laughs> Larry Vestito as well, member of the Hall of Fame here tonight. I remember uh, Don Ego took me aside after the seasoning open half mile at Tilsonburg, I guess. I had entered the 250 junior class on my 125 and it was a slug, it was slow. But I passed a couple of guys in practice. After practice ended, Don kindly but firmly took me aside and said, uh-uh, you're not racing tonight. You can't ride a 125 in the 250 class. And I was done. I protested and I, embellished the size of the engine maybe a little bit, but uh, that was it. Later that same night, as a spectator, I was watching the main event. In the turn one, 
Expert riders 16 and 45 roared to the head of the field on their Harleys. I couldn't believe it. They were just the class of the field, obviously. From my vantage point viewing from the inside of turn one, I got peppered with pea gravel in my face. It just blew me away. How can I know that in only a few years I could be that guy up there? Can I also say thank you to the enthusiast clubs, the guys that put on the races, guys and girls, women, everybody. There was a ton of them. KW, Otter Valley, Erie Ramblers, Steel City, of course, North Halton, Belleville, the Trenton, uh, Belleville Trenton Piston Pushers became the uh, Trailblazers, and especially Welland County Motorcycle Club for all the work that they did through the years. Thanks to those clubs, we all had a place to race on a weekly basis, Saturday nights and Sundays. We honed our skills, we got faster, and uh, just had a great time. Special thanks also, as I uh, mentioned in the introduction, uh, to the guys that gave me employment. I earned my living in motorcycling for many years as an apprentice mechanic. Sonic and the boys in the band there were wonderful. They taught me everything I, everything I know even today. Uh, the guys were great. Um, after I quit racing, actually, one of the things I was most proud of was when I started a little business to promote my own flat track races. I thought I could do a better job than, uh, than the clubs. I was going to put on professional championship events. It was tough, man. I learned how much work there was, especially when Mother Nature gets in the way. And you can lose a ton of money, too, and I did. But it was fun, and I learned a lot. Joining me tonight are a bunch of friends, family, but especially I want to thank Ben Heisel. Benny? I met Benny the first day I worked, went to work at Sonic, and he became my friend right off the bat. Became my sponsor, first race on a half mile. And then he became my tuner. He was my racetrack prep. He was my psychologist, he'd get me pumped up, he'd, he'd give me shit, but he never let me down. Also here tonight is Georgie West, representing her ex-husband Ralph, who also helped me a lot. Uh, Georgie and Ralph would travel from Columbus, Ohio, to help me in Canada. How many people had mechanics would drive from the States to help a young Canadian? So thanks, Georgie. For me, in racing, sometimes the unexpected happens. We've all had crashes, but I need to do this right now. I want to remember some friends that aren't here tonight. Bobby and Norm, two of my buds. They didn't make it. Thanks, Mike, my brother Mike. He took me to that first race, he got me involved. You were my biggest motivator and my champion. You got me started. This is what this is your fault. <laughs> to my other brother, twin brother of another mother, Davey. Hurt? I can't put into words what he's done for me. I'll just leave it at that. But Mudhead, watch it because I'm coming to get you. <laughs> As you see here tonight, I'm blessed with a huge family. I got almost 40 people here tonight. Can I get a hell yeah? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Sitting at my table is my partner, Terry. She's my friend, lover. She never experienced that part of my life. Maybe now she's coming to understand what uh, makes me a little bit cuckoo occasionally. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> I guess in closing, it's obvious I got to thank my parents, step parents, mothers, fathers, grandparents, grandparents, but uh, stepmothers, surrogate mothers, they're all here. They gave me, uh, it's, it's a long story, <laughs> but it was awesome. Uh, just thanks to you for giving me a free, unbridled, un unbelievable upbringing, giving me your unconditional support and love. Thanks for not giving up on me. Thanks, regardless of what I was doing. Some of those things were pretty whacked. But uh, we made it. I'm here. 
still standing up. I am standing up. <laughs> the sleep, sleepless nights I know I gave to you. Uh, well, I can't imagine, but uh, thanks for hearing me out. That's it.